Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chegudero, and today, as usual, we are going to continue on Module 2 My Week Smart Kids. Before we begin our lesson, let us recall first the vocabulary that we have learned in the previous lesson. This is because the vocabulary that you learned in the previous lesson are very important for today's lesson. Together, Read after me. Art. Art. Music. Music. P.E. 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 is physical education, if you still remember. Maths. Maths. Maths is the short form for mathematics. Science. Science. Social studies, social studies. Writing, writing. So that's all the vocabulary that we need to recap for today's lesson. Now, I'm going to play to you a video. If possible, I want you to turn to page 16 on your student's book. And as I play the video, I want you to read the text why will you listen? Are you ready? Let's start. Hey Sandy, how often do you have PE? Four times a week. Me too. I don't like PE. I like art, but I only have art once a week, on Thursdays. I have art twice a week, on Mondays and Wednesdays. Bye Sandy, see you after school. Bye Anna, here's your timetable. Thanks. Sandy? Anna, what are you doing here? Sandy, I've got your timetable. And I've got yours. Sorry. That's okay, thanks. So that's the end of the video. Now, let us try to do a short activity which is true or false statement. I'm going to give you a few statements and you are going to tell me whether the statement is true or false. Let's start with the first statement. Sandy has PE every day. Is that true or false? Well. I have already given you a picture here. The one in the yellow hair is Anna and the one in black and long hair is Sandy. The statement now says that Sandy has PE every day. Let's find proof from the picture whether Sandy has PE every day. When Anna asks Sandy how often does she have PE, Sandy said she has four times a week. In one whole week, there are only five days of schooling in a week. Sandy has four times of PE a week. Does that mean Sandy has PE every day? No. So, the answer is false. Sandy has PE four times a week. Next, Anna likes PE. Is that correct? Let's look for proof for the picture. When Anna asks Sandy how often does she have PE, Sandy replies her four times a week. However, Anna mentioned that me too. I don't like PE. So clearly this statement already deny that Anna likes PE. So the statement is false. Anna doesn't like PE. Next statement. Anna likes art. Is that true? Let's find again proof from the picture. Here, Anna mentioned that she likes art. However, she has only art once a week, which is on every Thursday. Here has already clearly proved that Anna likes art. So the statement is true. Next statement. Anna has art once a week. From the same dialogue box, Anna said she likes art, 
but she only has art once a week. Is that the same as the statement? Yes, it is. So, the statement is true. Next statement, number five. Sandy doesn't have art on Thursdays. Is that true? Here is the proof. Sandy said she has art twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays. And the statement here say Sandy doesn't have art on Thursdays. So, is it true? It is. Because Sandy only has art on Mondays and Wednesdays. So, she doesn't have art on Thursdays. Hence, the statement is true. Now, we are going to practice the structure here for today. If you listen from the video just now, there is a question that keep mentioning by Sandy and also Anna. This is the statement. How often do you have English? How often in BM? It means berapa kerap. This is more or less the same as what you learn in module 1 about adverbs of frequency. However, for this lesson, it's going to be more specific than adverbs of frequency because it mentioned about how many times exactly that you involve in a particular activity. So, a proper response for this question should be 3 times a week. Now, 3 times a week is only an answer. If there's only one time, you can say once. If it's two times, you can say twice. And if it's three times, you can say thrice. However, thrice is seldom used in today's English because it was traditionally used by British English. However, today in the UK, people always use three times rather than thrice. So in this lesson, we are going to use three times rather than thrice. Thrice is just an additional information for you. Just remember, when we want to say something that happens with one time or two times, we say once or twice. And after that, there we say three times, four times, five times. And if it's all the time, we say every day. Let me show you an example so that you will get used to this structure. This is a schedule that I did on my own based on your student's book. As you can see here, the ticks show that how many times that involve a subject that you need to attend in a week. In a week, there are only 5 days of schooling. Hence, it's only mentioned from Monday until Friday for every subject. My first question is, how often do you have art? If you refer to the timetable here, how many ticks are they for art for the whole week? It's only on Wednesday. So how many times? It's only one time. What is the other word for one time? It's once. So the answer should be once a week. Number two, how often do you have PE? How many ticks do you have PE? You have two ticks, which is on Tuesday and Thursday. Hence, the answer should be twice a week. Twice means two times. Number three. How often do you have mats? How often do you have mats? How many ticks for mats? There are five, which means it's every day. So, the answer should be every day. Is that clear for you? So, that's the end of our lesson here today. This is the homework that I have prepared for you. Feel free to just go to the video description below and click on the link to do on the Google Forms exercise straight away. And if you're a teacher and you would like to make a copy of this Google Form exercise, I have also uploaded a link as well. So feel free to make a copy for your students. But before that, don't forget to visit my Facebook page, Che Gudero, and give it a like if possible, as well as subscribe my YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the bell beside the subscribe button so that you will always get the first-hand video every time I updated my playlist. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and I shall see you at the next video. Bye!